So potentially the biggest free agent in silly season, who's not even a driver, has finally been signed to his team. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. There is a lot of free agents currently in NASCAR silly season. Some have already been taken for, have already decided where they're racing next season. Some drivers still looking to be signed, but there's one non-driver a lot of people were pointing at as potentially the biggest free agent out of all of them and I'm of course talking about Rodney Childress the current crew chief of Josh Berry has crew chiefed Kevin Harvick throughout a good portion of his career a very talented crew chief considered to possibly be one of the best crew chiefs in the cup series well there's been a lot of talk on where is he gonna go a lot of people were assuming including myself were assuming and thinking that he would stick with josh barry because him and josh barry have created a very good working relationship that driver crew chief relationship is so very important so we all assumed wherever josh barry was gonna go rodney was gonna go with him well when Josh Berry got signed to Wood Brothers, it was said in the post after that press conference that they're kind of looking for a crew chief within the Penske fold. And we all found that quite surprising. I was very surprised to hear that news. And at that point, it was free game. It seemed like any team could potentially go after a crew chief like Rodney Childress, whether they already have a crew chief or not. Well, in another surprising move, in my opinion, I think a lot of a lot of other people found it a surprising move. Rodney Childress will be the crew chief of Corey LaJoy, the number seven for Spire Motorsports. And this this right here is a great, great signing for Spire Motorsports. It's just another fantastic move from this race team who continue to grow every single year this is this could only improve their program now Rodney and Corey could potentially be a really good match with one another I think Corey LaJoy's current crew chief Ryan Sparks aka Sparky I think they work pretty well together but a lot of you may not know Ryan Sparks the current crew chief of Corey LaJoy is also the competition director of Spire Motorsports. He is currently in two roles. So with Ryan Sparks able to really focus on the competition side of things and then bringing in potentially one of the best crew chiefs in the Cup Series, Spire could have a fantastic year in 2025. This year, I'd say, has been pretty good. It's been a very slight step up as an organization I'd say this year but in that same breath I'd say Corey LaJoy ha hasn't really improved at all this year maybe even taken a slight step down because I'd say he's being outperformed on a pretty consistent basis by Carson Hosevar even occasionally at this point by Zane Smith so hopefully this move could help Corey LaJoy continue that upward trajectory because I think LaJoy has had a lot of moments in his career where a lot of us thought all right he's really getting better he's really improving this race team he's improving as a driver if he gets into a in a good car maybe he can really do something but then I'd say this season especially there's been a lot of moments where I think a lot of us have wondered what what does Corey LaJoy even do I see that I see that said all the time. It's kind of funny, but it's it, for real. What does he even do? He hasn't really done much of anything this season. He's been in the shadows of his teammate, Carson Hosevar. And I think 
Spire going after a Rodney Childress to work with Corey LaJoy is a fantastic move on their part. And like I said, Spire are continuing to grow. I have high expectations for the future of this team. I don't necessarily think they're going to be a championship organization in the next couple years. But if they keep on doing what they're doing, they seem very serious about what they do. Maybe in six, seven years, we could see them as a top team in the Cup Series, up there with a Hendrick Motorsports, with a Joe Gibbs, something like that. I doubt it, but who knows? They have the passion. They're doing all the right things, it seems like, to grow a race team in the Cup Series, especially in today's day and age. It's a lot different than it was 20, 30 years ago. But give me all your thoughts down below about this move for Spire Motorsports going after Rodney. Also, let me know your perception of Spire Motorsports. What do you think is potentially in the cards for their future? I think their future is bright, but let me know your opinions. Also, if you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week, but that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, a.k.a. Racing Boy Short, saying peace.